Now, what was the result of Werwell's believing? Near the end of his life, Werwell had several strokes. Victor Paul Werwell then got eye cancer, and his eye had to be removed because of the cancer. Then he got liver cancer, and he died from that at the young age of 67. So, by his own rule, he caused those diseases and death to happen to himself. Remember, he said, if one's afraid of disease, he will manifest that disease, because the law is that what one believes, in this case, what one believes negatively, he's going to receive. And this is why the Way International hid Werwolf's illnesses and hid the cause of his death. This is why, even today, people who believed in Werewolf find it hard to accept that he died of cancer and had two cancers and died at a young age because they can't reconcile it with this false teaching on the law of believing. Werewolf's son, Donald, who was a trustee of the Wayne National, he also died of cancer at the young age of 60. Okay, so where did Werewolf get this? Not from the Bible, with an atheistic system. Werewolf got this idea from metaphysical or new thought writers like Albert Cliff. Werewolf was indis undiscerning. He didn't really know how to discern truth from error. And so he took Cliff's law of cause and effect and he renamed it the law of believing. He took Cliff's law of giving and he renamed it law of tithing. And then he took Cliff's idea of Christ in you as being an impersonal power rather than the person, Christ Jesus. So the authors that Werewolf liked, Cliff, Clark, Mosley, Starr, were metaphysical or New Thought writers. They weren't Christian by standards of the Way International. They weren't Christians by Orthodox Christian standards either. They thought God wasn't really a being. He was impersonal, or rather it was impersonal, and man just manipulated the universe by their thought, which we will renamed believing. It's not a biblical idea. The law of believing is godless. It's self-centered. And it leads you away from Christ Jesus who said, if you are weary or heavy laden, I will give you rest. The truth is that we believe in the strength of the Savior, not in the strength of our believing. That we value character and perseverance and patience even more than health and wealth. The truth is that God gives grace, doesn't give us, just, does not just give us laws to operate. The truth is that we can have abundant life, not in the law of believing for it, we have abundant life in Christ Jesus. Good day.